Hello divers, welcome back to our channel where we teach all things scuba diving and if you are new, stay with us because we have a good one today. On my last couple of videos I've been teaching about fish identification but today I'm gonna change a little bit uh, for something more advanced. Today's video is not gonna be about fish identification. It's more focusing for advanced divers looking for macro and special critters from the reef. Something that I really love after diving is to go on my book and check always for the critters that I saw and show to my divers, my clients. So this is the book that I'm going to be using today. As you see, it's brand new, okay? Never used it before. And like always, I'm going to drop a link below just in case you want to buy the book. So when we talk about macro diving, we are talking about a small critter or really specific critters that live in really specific environments okay, or habitats. So when you try to spot macro life, it's really difficult when you don't know what you are looking for. So my plan today is to explain or go in more in detail about different habitats or ecosystem on the reef and what kind of critters we can find on them. Uh, the first one is going to be the crinoids or most commonly known as a feather star. Okay? They have different colorations, uh, different size, and pretty much they are all over the reef in shallow water. Sometimes you can find it in deeper water as well, like 20, 25 meters or 100, 120 uh, feet. So next time you are diving, just take a little bit of time to look in details into the crinoid because inside or around the crinoid we can find from crinoid commensal shrimps different variations including the tiger crinoid shrimp like the one on the photo also have a look underneath the crinoid because there you can find a squat lobster they are not a lobster they are not from the same family but they are called uh, they are called a squat lobster Again, normally they match the color of the crinoid where they live. A couple of fish you can find living in symbiotic relationship with the with the crinoid is the cling fish. Okay, let's have a look to the to the photo. They are really difficult to see, but if you pay attention, you wait a little bit, hovering uh, above the the crinoid, you will see them like moving around, sometimes coming out. They are really really cool. Okay, the second one is the ornate or decorated ghost pipe fish. That's the sign for that fish, and also they live close or nearby crinoid uh, colonies. Let's move to the next one. Now we are going to talk about soft coral. For the next few critters, I especially recommend to, to search for them at night dive. Okay? It's, it's really easy to find them uh, with a little bit of light, a torch, and also because at night is when they come out of the, of the soft coral to feed. So here, if you can really, really close and you wait, you can see Candy crabs, porcelain soft coral crabs, and also let me check on the book because that name is really difficult for me in English. Amphipods. Okay, amphipods like a ladybug, for example. The ones here on the on the photo. So the next one of the day is the spongy barrels. I don't know if you if you know what I'm talking about, but have a look to the to the one on the video. So here normally we can find like lionfish living inside, sometimes moray eels. But if you have a look, uh, a, if you have a close look into the uh, cracks eh, on the outside of the of the spongy you can find different kind of crabs uh, sea cucumbers sea stars eh, or starfish but the one that I really really like from from those uh, spongy burrows and they only live on that kind of uh, uh, habitats is the hairy squat lobster what's up guys I'm editing on my laptop and I realized that in one of the clips from the spongy burrows I catch a, a hairy squab lobster. So let's check it out and see if you can find it. Let's 
as I mentioned before, uh, macro diving is not for everyone. Okay, uh, most of the beginners or new divers they enjoy like big fish, sharks. They want to see turtles. And macro is is more for tourist people or the divers that they've been diving for a while, and they they have a different interest on, on something like completely different, like a macro or super macro life. But in order to enjoy that, you need uh, excellent buoyancy skills. Sometimes when we spot something really small or tiny, like a small frog fish on the sand, or I don't know, a nudie branch, when people or divers come close, they approach to the critters that I'm showing, they try to like shake hands a little bit just to stop or control buoyancy and then they they mess with everything so it's a good idea if you get some training or practice about buoyancy control dream position uh, in order to to enjoy the macro the macro life and to be able to see and, and spot these uh, amazing critters and that's all for today guys let me know if you want another video about fish identification or and another one for macro uh, or super macro uh, life on the on the reef again if you are back in our channel i hope you enjoy if you are new don't forget to subscribe and hit the button and leave a comment below okay guys one more thing before you subscribe have a look because we have new merch available we've been working really really hard to put those products uh, available for you we work with uh, temiel that is a company from uk with uh, a really eco-friendly process to produce the, uh, the merch. So why you don't go to our website to have a look? So now, yes, it's time to subscribe, give a thumb up if you like the video, leave a comment below and see you on the next one. Bye guys! You see? Amphipods. <laughs>